Hey everybody, um, today I wanted to shoot a quick video on um, on like how to match your subwoofers or speakers with your amplifiers using ohms. Um, ohms are uh, on every speaker, whether it's like a little speaker or a subwoofer. Doesn't matter, they all got ohms and they can all be different. Um, and your amps, like, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute. Amps have ohms too, what they're stable of. Like, um, you have, like, uh, amps that are stable down to, uh, two ohms. Like, um, this amplifier, MA Audio amplifier, monoblock subwoofer amplifier right here, is, um, stable down to two ohms. Meaning, this amp is good at two ohms. You can run it at that low of an ohms but if you go under that to like one ohm it might fry on you and um, I've actually ran this amp at one ohm and it did okay but I didn't do it for a long amount of time because it probably would have burned it up um, if um, you look back at my other videos you'll see my big uh, sound stream amplifier uh, mono block as well subwoofer amplifier that big sound stream amplifier is stable to one ohm. So you can run that amp at one ohm and you're good to go. And then you have um, uh, things like uh, two channel amplifier, this amp which I don't know, I didn't think, I thought it, I was actually impressed but it's a cheaper amplifier. Has two channels right there and um, this will probably take two ohms. Um, I didn't look it up but um, this I would say you can run subs or mids off of this would be okay and then you have something like this amplifier which is the dual 600 watt 4 channel which I believe would also be stable down to 2 ohms but you try running like this one at 1 ohm I bet you'll fry it um, now you got different uh, things like uh, this this speaker right here it says right on the bottom clearly it's a 4 ohm speaker uh, single voice coil so if you hook this up uh, just hook it into an amplifier say hook it into the side of this you're gonna be running this amp at 4 ohms and you're gonna be getting 4 ohms worth of power from this amp now if you want to know um, like how many ohms your, uh, your amplifier is uh, look it up do some research on the internet and you'll see what it's stable to and it'll tell you uh, how much power it's going to give you at 4 ohms, at 2 ohms if it's stable to that, and 1 ohm if it's stable to that. Um, you also have uh, single voice cool subwoofers like this one. Um, that's right there is one channel. And um, I believe, yes, um, sorry this amp is, uh, this is one of my, uh, an older sub I got in a car, but anyway, it is the um, Alpine Type E. Um, which is also a 4 ohm single voice coil. So you hook this guy up to uh, your mono block amplifier, which is what I like running my subs off of. Gives you the most power, but runs hotter. Um, um, but actually, this mono block is AB. Um, it's an AB amp, so it doesn't run as hot as a D, which is what a lot of mono blocks are. But um, you hook this guy up, just like this little guy, by itself, uh, you're going to be running at 4 ohms. Now, if you hook this amp, this guy up with another one just like it into a mono block, then you'll be cutting them in half because you'll be hooking a four ohm up to a four ohm. That's going to cut them in half and run them down to um, two ohms. Remember that. Hooking uh, like subs up together um, or, or uh, voice coils would be a better way to explain it. You got to split those ohms down. Example is. This JL right here. Sorry, I don't know how well you can see everything. Cameras. Kind of hard to see what angle because I can't see on this side. But anyway, this right here is a JLW3. It is 4 ohms as well. Difference is there's a voice coil. Here's a voice coil. Now, with this sub, it is a 4 ohm sub like the other two I just showed you. But um, the difference with this is you can um, hook this up at 4 ohms or you can hook it up at 2 ohms. You can run it in series 
which um, do some research. You'll see how to hook up uh, dual voice coils in series and hook this into an amplifier and it will be running at four ohms. But what's cool about the dual voice coils is you can hook them up in parallel and you will be running that uh, at two ohms because you'll be hooking up voice coil to a voice coil. Just like hooking up two single voice coil subwoofers, um, you'll be cutting them in half down to two ohms. Um, my advice is, um, I get questions on you know what amps good for these subs or what subs would be good for these amps. Um, try to match your ohms to an amplifier or vice versa. Your 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 ohms on a sub or on your amplifier to a subwoofer. So say um, say I had two two of these JLW3s dual voice coils, and I'm wondering what kind of amplifier I need to run them. Well, um, I think this is, um, uh, I don't remember how much power this gives off. Say it's going to give me uh, 300 watts at 2 ohms. Well, if I'm going to hook up two of them, I'm going to look at a th uh, 600 watt amplifier or more. You can always lessen the power a little bit, turn down the knobs, but you know they only go up so far. If you turn them all the way up, it's usually going to make your subwoofers or speakers clip which is very bad for them. So, you know, get a little extra power, you know, it ain't gonna hurt it any, just turn it down a little bit if it does. Um, but, um, like if I had two of these, and I wanted to hook them up together, so I'd be hooking this voice coil up to this voice coil, which would make this two ohms, and then have another one doing the same thing, which would make it two ohms, hook them together, you're gonna have a one ohm load. So you want to find an amplifier that is stable to one ohms um, otherwise you might burn up your amplifier sorry I keep looking at the time over here I see how much time I got but um and um, I recommend uh, subwoofers go with the mono blocks um, they uh, usually give you more power for your subs um, mids um, I like hooking up to uh, I'd say like a Sorry, my camera died on me. I hate when my camera dies. Anyway, um, like I was saying, I like to hook up the mids to four channel amplifier, um, like this one. Um, you can hook, you can also hook up mids at like two ohms. It's just gonna suck more power to them. So remember that. Um, if you don't know how many ohms the subwoofer is, um, I have a video. It shows you how to test it with one of these, a multimeter. It'll tell you um, how many ohms your subwoofer is. Or go online and do some research like you know I do for most things and things that I don't know. But um, yeah, I just want to tell you a little bit about ohms on subwoofers and amps and maybe help tell you how to uh, match your subs and amps together. And um, maybe it'll help you out a little bit. I don't know. If not, you know, shoot me questions. I answer every one I can. And if uh, you don't get an answer, then for some reason I probably uh, didn't see your comment. And it happens once in a while, but it's rare. So uh, thanks for watching.